thing looks like a golf cart. What's going on? Figured I'd do a quick little video to show off the current setup that I have for brewing one to two gallon batches of beer on my stove. I tried to keep costs as minimal as possible, so I ordered a couple things off of Amazon. I got Walmart, Princess Auto, and the Kelowna Brew Store as well. To start things off, I got a $20 pail, $20, $25 pail from Princess Auto, stainless steel, and I drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom. I got a couple big ones and a few smaller ones. And the purpose of this, uh, this is gonna go into my boil kettle. Grains are gonna go inside. And then when I am ready to mash out and sparge, I just lift the whole pail out and it can drain over top of my kettle and all the wort can drain, leaving all the grains in the bucket for me to dump later. With these holes, some of the grain does fall through. So what I did do is I ordered a pizza plate off of Amazon for like, I don't know, three bucks. Um, I wish it was stainless steel, but it's aluminum. But I put this in inside the pail like that. It helps the wort filter through a little bit better without as much grain going through. I had a little bit of grain come out um, and make it into the kettle last brew that I did last night. Uh, so it's not perfect, but for me, it's doable. I just strain out the grain in the kettle for now. And this is a work in progress. Next up, I got a, I forget how big this thing is. I got this stock pot from Walmart. Uh, I got it on sale for 40 bucks, so can't go wrong there. I had this line around the house, so it does the trick. I would like to get stainless steel just to keep everything looking classy, but uh, for now it does the job. And inside I have what's called a bazooka screen, mesh screen, bazooka screen. Bazooka is all the word I know, the only word I know on that. Anyways, I got this from the Kelownabrew.com. It's a 12 inch, so it's a little bit too big for this pot, but I just bent it and it works in great. All I do is I, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but I just unscrew it, clean it, screw it back in, good to go. So basically what I do is I actually fill this thing up with three gallons of water, bring it up to my mash in temperature, fill my pail up with grains and plop it in like, like that. Nothing pretty, but it, it does the trick. I can stir around, do my thing, put the lid on, try to maintain the temperature. And when I am ready to mash out, I have a little baking sheet, little baking sheet here. So then we lift this up, put the little rack there and sit the pail. So then all the wart can drain through and into the kettle, leaving as minimal as possible grain residue. One of the things I do wish I had was I have a hose going from here to a pump and then recirculating this way so I can, I can do a nice sparge, I can recirculate. Right now, all I do is I just fill up a big measuring cup and I do it by hand. It sucks, but for now it's doable and it's doing the trick, so can't really complain. Basically, this whole setup cost me under $100 and I can do two, one, uh, I can do one gallon batches, I can do two gallon batches. I did do the other day about a three and a half because I think I screwed up something with the amount of grain that I added in and it was really strong so I had to water it down. But I managed to get about a three and a half gallon batch out of this setup. Quite happy with it. Like I said before, there's a couple things that I want to improve on. First thing being a pump down the road, try to get a better um, screen in the grain pail, I guess we would call it, to try to reduce as much grain falling through into the kettle until, uh, until then I just scoop it out with the screen. Does the trick. So end things up, kind of just the goal of this channel is I wanna do 99 different beers and perfect the recipe. I wanna document the brew day, um, the whole process, the recipe. And then the follow up, I wanna do a tasting, try to get it with another person, a friend, and then I get some honest feedback, get some criticism on the beer recipe, and I can fine tune it. And hopefully, by the end of all this, however long it takes, I have 99 perfect brew recipes for two gallon batches. We'll see where it goes.